authorized.net sugar CRM integration uh, demo. My name is Jesse. I am the marketing manager at FAVSG, and I'm here to introduce Jake Budikoffer, our account executive, who's going to be handling the presentation for today. And I'll pass it over to you. Take it away, Jake. Thanks, Jesse. Uh, we're going to start out by talking a little bit about Fay Business Systems Group, and we'll talk about sugar, a brief introduction on Authorized.net, and then go into the uh, the benefits, features, costs of the Authorized.net integration, and then end that with a uh, demonstration and questions and answers, if any. So we've been in the industry for about 25 years. We do CRM and ERP. We have about 25 employees. We have consultants, programmers, uh, support staff, sales. So we are a full service CRM shop. We also are an ERP vendor. We work with uh, Acumatica, Sage 100 ERP, and several others in the past as well. About five years ago, we picked up Sugar. And um, we were working with other CRMs in the past. And once we picked up Sugar, we liked it so much that we dropped all the others. So Sugar is um, the exclusive CRM uh, for Fay Business Systems Group. Sugar is the fastest growing CRM company in the world. Um, last year, they got a, a round of funding of $40 million from Goldman Sachs. Uh, they have a partnership with IBM. They've been winning a lot of awards with uh, from Forrester, Gartner. So there's a lot of uh, a lot of bigger companies are starting to pick up Sugar. You know, historically speaking, Sugar's sweet spot is 10 to 100 users, uh, but what you're seeing is a lot of bigger companies uh, starting to evaluate Sugar and adopt Sugar as well. Uh, so this is just a snapshot of some of their customers, some very large, uh, some somewhat small across all industries. Uh, so Sugar plays well you know, in healthcare um, and other industries as well, but this gives you a snapshot of the, uh, the type of customers uh, that Sugar has. Sugar, uh, what makes Sugar different from the other CRMs is it's a true open source uh, CRM. Uh, you can deploy it anywhere, so you can host Sugar locally on your own server, or you can go with Sugar's hosting in the cloud as well. Um, in terms of the, um, the market leading CRM, Sugar is the low cost uh, leader. And um, you know the, the development costs are lower than, say, Salesforce.com or Microsoft because it's not a proprietary language uh, than PHP, which is widely used. I'll tell you a little bit about Authorize.net. They were founded in 1996. Uh, they're the world's largest payment gateway service provider. They can accept credit cards via website or over IP as well. They have over 400,000 merchants. And they, one of the reasons we wanted to, to integrate with Authorize.net is because our development team loved the API tools. It was very easy to integrate with. And so um, that's why we chose to go with you know, Authorize.net for this integration. So a couple of the things that you can do um, with this integration is you can edit your credit card information securely. Um, basically, the way it works is, and I'll show you this, is you enter your payment profile for Authorize.net directly inside of Sugar. Then it just automatically goes over you know, to, to Authorize.net database. And that, because of that, it eliminates the uh, redundant data entry, and so you don't have to create, you know, payment profiles in both, you know, Sugar and Authorize.net. And you can authorize charge as well as refund transactions directly inside of Sugar on the lead, contact, opportunity, quote, or accounts module, and you get a complete transaction history in Sugar for, you know, reporting and as well as workflows. The integration itself is uh, $4.99 per year per company. There's no user limitation. Um, with that $4.99, you do get support, phone support. And so if anything seems to not be working or if there's um, you know, a little glitch or if you have any questions on how to use particular features, you can give us a call, and that's, um, that's covered under the subscription. It's also a $500 flat fee for implementation, which includes installing it, configuring it, as well as, as training the users on how to you know, enter payment profiles and, as well as authorize and charge. So with that being said, we'll go ahead and uh, jump right into the demo. So 
this is the home screen here. If you've seen Sugar before, you might be familiar with this. One of the things that we've added here is it's called a MyAuthorized.net transaction log. So if you want to see all the transactions you know, in a particular day, just to see you know, what's going in through the system, you can have all your transactions you know, here on your home screen. Uh, you can also have your favorite reports. If you're running reports off of those transactions, you can have access to those you know, directly on your home screen as well. That tends to be a more of a standard Sugar feature, but what we do with our integrations is we build them inside of Sugar so we can leverage all of their you know, reporting and workflow and Dashlet features as well. The first thing I want to show you is uh, creating of a contact and then adding a payment profile into Sugar. So one thing we'll notice is once we add in this contact information, go ahead and create Michael Jordan since I'm a Bulls fan. Um, so once we enter in this information here, it will automatically populate this once you go to create the, the payment profile itself. So you don't have to re-enter everything. So if we wanted to put in his billing address, that will automatically go over. We'll go ahead and put in this information. Also, you can see here we uh, have a constant contact integration. So if we wanted to sync him you know, to a constant contact list, we can do that from here as well. Uh, so we'll go ahead and create that, create that contact. And then once that contact is created, you can see here that there's an authorized.net tab. Now this tab is configurable, so you can actually put these buttons anywhere you want. It's configurable in Studio. But as you can see here, we've created a contact. And what we want to do next is go ahead and add a payment profile. Once we click to add a payment profile, you can see it already has the shipping information. It's already stored in authorized.net directly. And so what you're seeing here, this is actually an authorized.net screen that we're just accessing inside of Sugar. So when we add the payment profile, this again is just an authorized.net screen. As you can see here, all of the contact information, the billing information, is automatically pulled over from Sugar. Once we go ahead and put in the card number, we'll just put in a kind of a test number here. You can see here that we've added the credit card, and then so once the credit card information is inputted and saved. It's PCI compliant, so you can no longer see the full card. You can only see the last four digits. So if you know a customer called in and, and they wanted you to run the card that you had on file, you could, what typically happens is you say, OK, do you want us to run the card with 1111 as the last four digits? And they can say, oh, no, I actually got a new card. Um, then you can go in here, click Edit, and you can change this card. And then once you save it, again, it'll just have the last four numbers. So once the card has been entered in, into Sugar, you then have the ability to authorize the profile. And basically what that does is it pretty much um, pre-approves the amount. It temporarily takes that amount either out, off the credit card or from their checking account. You can pre-authorize um, you can pre-authorize an amount to charge them. Typically, you know, the reason why, and then you'll have a notice here that says the transaction has been approved. Uh, typically why companies would do this is if they have a physical product that they needed to ship and you can't, by law, you cannot charge a credit card until you've actually shipped it. And so this allows them to, to test it just to make sure that the person has enough funds. And then once you want to charge the card, once it's gotten shipped, you can just charge the card here. Uh, if you have an internal invoice number that you need to reference, you can mark that on the charge as well. So basically, you would go ahead and charge it. It'll let you know if it uh, was approved or failed. And then once we refresh Sugar here, you'll see that there's an authorized.net transaction log, where you can see we had an authorized only, and then we had an authorized and capture, which means we charged the credit card as well. So you have a complete transaction log of any charges per a contact account, opportunity, a quote. 
if you made a mistake and you wanted to go ahead, go back and refund that transaction, all you would need to do is click on the actual transaction. There'll be a refund button. You click refund, and then that transaction has been approved and that it has been refunded. So that's the basics of you know creating a contact um, as well as entering in a payment profile, authorizing it, and charging it. And so there's a couple other places where you can do that from. Uh, you can do it on an account here, and then you can see you have that transaction information similar uh, to, the, to the contact we just showed you there. If it had been refunded, you would see the refund checkbox here as well. And then you can also uh, charge it on a quote or some, you know, some of our clients actually use this as an order module. They just rename the quote to orders, and then you have the buttons here as well. And then on the quote, the way it can work is, you know, you have your kind of your total amount for the quote. So if you have multiple line items, it all gets tallied, and you have your total. And we did some programming so that if you wanted to charge this quote, it'll actually pre-populate the the amount that you can charge, the amount the amount that's predetermined to charge. Now you can go back and adjust this and remove this, but this is just, you know, if companies that, that want to charge in full for all their quotes, it'll just pre-populate to that dollar amount right there. And then once that's been charged, you'd see the transaction underneath the, uh, the quote as well. Because we uh, entering all these transactions into Sugar and getting all the transaction logs, we have the ability to report on all these transactions. So if you wanted to, say, run a report on a certain date range, basically you can utilize Sugar's standard reporting tool to get pretty granular with how you're tracking the transactions. If you want to run reports on you know, a date range, per customer and see all those transactions, you have complete access to all the tables, all the dollar amounts, um, basically all the transaction data that we're storing in Sugar, you can run reports on. And then just to give you a feel, so we've developed the integration so the buttons, like I said, are configurable. Uh, so basically the way we've handled it is you just have your list of fields here, the authorized by net fields. We've already predetermined, you know, a tab for it. So basically, if you wanted to put it on the main account, you would just basically drag these fields to where you want. Um, so the, the buttons are completely configurable. You can have them wherever you want inside of Sugar. So that's basically, you know, the quick overview of the uh, the integration. Um, as discussed and as mentioned before, we can always do a deep dive demo if you're interested. Uh, it doesn't look like we have any questions currently, uh, but feel free to reach out to us uh, with any questions. My name is Jake Budikoffer. I'm an account executive. You can reach me here. You can also reach out to us at info at fabsg.com as well as call us at uh, 818 280 Four eight two zero. Uh, thank you very much for your time. I hope you found this webinar informative.